little bit of a crisis. We can't actually get the equipment out at the moment because the youth team coach has gone off with the key to the container. If in doubt, hit it with a hammer. Welcome to League Two. What's plan B? Bolt cutters. Here come the reinforcements. These, Mark. Uh, no, we don't need them. Oh, for no, goodness no. sake. <laughs> well, now that that saga is over, it has been quite a last two and a half years for head coach Richie Wellens. He won the League Two title during the curtailed campaign due to COVID, then went to Salford, but only lasted six months, then went to Doncaster Rovers, but only lasted six months. But he really does seem to be happy and finding his feet here at Leighton Orient. Can tell probably by my demeanour that I enjoy coming in. And if you're a manager, you come into your workplace and you enjoy it. One, it spreads to your players, and one, it's you know it's infectious to everyone around you. I think we've got that. Did the fact that you'd won the title with Swindon does that keep you going as a kind of vindication of your methods when things don't quite work out for you? I think if I'm given time to to get the players that I want in and the squad that I want in, that the style of football will produce results. You know, I think we've. Averaged over two points a game here in the last 16 games, so more than anything, it's about players. You need to get the players that fit into your, your style, and that's what every manager craves for, and I'm no different. You live in 200 miles away from your family. Why do you need this? I love the game. I love it as a player. I love training every day. I love that, that um, competitiveness of getting three points on a weekend. Um, I love it when you win. For me, it's the competitiveness and, and the winning is the best feeling. Are you contenders? It's a good uh, team spirit between everyone. Um, that's what you need, I think, to get promoted. The boys, I think a lot of them are, uh, can play a lot higher than this level. So um, I'm, I was quite surprised that we got a few of the players that we've got here at the moment. Um, but it's up to them now to uh, push each other and us as a team to get this club into back into League One. We've got an experience, we've got a, a team spirit and a mentality that stands in good stead. You know, I've been at this level before now and every time I've had a good run at it, I've been successful. So I think we've got a good enough team to get in the top seven. If we improve and if we keep injury free, I think we've got a good opportunity of, 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 um, of the top three. Um, I think we've got a chance. Well, firstly, I hope they sent Clem down to the local hardware shop to get them a new padlock. You know, it's something interesting in that when Richie said about wanting players who fit into his style. Is that even more important when you think about League Two and lower down the leagues? Yeah, I, I would say so. I would say so. I think the difference in quality, in my opinion, from top to bottom and then in those leagues down there isn't as fast as say it might be, say, at the Premier League level. Mm -hmm. So I think if you can get the players that understand what they're going for, enjoy being around each other, listen to the manager, that sort of self-belief can get you so far in those divisions and it might be the difference between going up and staying in the division. Yeah. When you don't have very much and, and you know, context of Premier League to, to where they were, then I think that galvanises you. You know, we felt that in women's football. Mm -hmm. we, we have done. And uh, absolutely, the, it sounds like the manager's doing a great job. And if you've got characters who all bounce off of each other, that'll, that'll go a long way in that league. Yeah, he's doing a great job. Right, some sad news.